off to another adventure. <laughs> off to another adventure. It's as frosty as I remember it. The day just keeps getting better and better. So good vibes, it'll matter the weather. The day just keeps getting better and better. The day just keeps getting better and better. Oh, thank God, I should write him a letter. Touchdown in Clark Airport. It is my second time here. I was just coming from Chagao Island and we took the plane from uh, Clark to Chagao because another airline was a little bit too expensive. We saved almost 12,000 pesos by just coming here to Clark Airport to take another flight instead of going from Manila directly. And the flight that I saw was 24,000 pesos, which can actually pay me a flight to Europe almost. So I decided to take the bus to Clark and check out the new airport. It's beautiful. It's so quiet. I feel like I'm yelling. People are just like standing over there. It's so quiet. Let me just like so peaceful, right? Yeah, it's beautiful. We can see all of the structures here. Super, super nice. And I'm going to show you everything else a little bit later. I'm just waiting for my luggage. Of course, I'm going to <laughs> show you the bus ride as well because I got to experience it on the way here and I was too tired to vlog and it was nighttime and I was just... Oh, I was already on two uh, red eye flights, so yeah, taking this opportunity to take you along and show you how it is, also from a foreigner's perspective. So, so far, this airport is winning. Yeah, this airport is definitely less busy than Manila. Actually, pretty nice experience. Hi! Hi! Hi. How are you? <laughs> It's super, super quiet and less hectic. It's actually a really delightful experience arriving like this. I just decided to go upstairs to the departure area if they let me in to just show you the design because it's all wooden design. The arrival area looks a little bit different. So maybe they'll let me in so I can see and show you. Uh, Kuya, is it only possible to enter for uh, passengers? Ah, uh, okay. Okay. All right, next time. But let me show you the sign here. Super nice arrival area of the bus. There we go. <laughs> Thumbnail, I guess. I don't know. Let's see. There is a shuttle service for, I think, Civil Pacific passengers coming from Manila. So they transfer people to this side, uh, to, to, this, <laughs> to this airport. It's a two and a half hour drive if there is no traffic. So I'll show you more about that <laughs> in a bit. And the cost was, hmm. I'll ask, I'll ask. Wait a sec, wait long. All right, before we continue this trip and we're going everywhere, I have to introduce you to my travel companion. I am very, very happy and in love with Jarvison. Oh wow, where are you going together? So we're going to Bangkok, we're going to Vienna, Ibiza, Morocco, and eventually also the US. It doesn't take up too much space. How does it actually work? It has real-time translation in 108 languages. It has up to 96 accuracy with a 0.5 second response time. It supports two translation modes, language and photo. Javison supports offline translation for 18 languages. I mean, you know, communication is key, so will you be able to speak all of the languages? Absolutely, let me show you. But wait, can you read in Thai? Impressive. Are you going to be able to speak Arabic in Morocco as well? Yes. My travel companion speaks 108 languages, so I have no trouble navigating through the world. Off we go. So future Nelly, speaking here, I am currently on my trip through Morocco and I am in a city that is called Essaouira. And one thing that I learned about Morocco is there are two main languages that are being spoken and one is Arabic Moroccan and the second one is French and luckily I'm traveling with my Jarvisan device. It's packed and I don't know what's going on here. I switched my device to English to French. French Canadian because I met this Canadian lovely man here. So I'm going to give it a try and see how this one works. I just came here today, so what is happening here? I have no idea why are there so many people. Il y a un grand festival, c'est un festival de musique marocaine. 
C'est pour ça qu'il y a beaucoup de gens ici. There's a big festival. It's a Moroccan music festival. That's why there are a lot of people here. Ok. Ok. Shall we go for a dance later? Yes, for sure. <laughs> oh, he speaks English. Ok. So I just switched the device from English to Arabic Moroccan. I have a message for you. Thank you so much for staying open for us. It was the best octopus I ever had. Yeah? Did you understand? Of course. Ooh, okay, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, if you are planning a trip abroad and don't want to get lost in translation, definitely check out the Javison device. I will leave a link in the description box down below as always, and I can highly, highly recommend it. And now, back to the vlog. Kat, how do you like Clark Airport? It's really nice, it's very quiet, aesthetically pleasing yeah. than the ones in Manila. I like it actually, you guys should try to book your flights via Clark. You know, try it out, something different. <laughs> <laughs> and you might save some money coming here. Yes. Because I told them we saved almost 12,000 pesos. For one thing. For yes. one for one flight, so that's that's a lot. And the, do you know that bus ticket price? How much it was? The what? The bus ticket. Four hundred. Four hundred pesos for coming here for a two and a half hour ride. So yeah, not bad at all. We're off to another adventure. <laughs> off to another adventure. But yeah, uh, in regards to minimalistic, I have one thing to mention. It's really minimalistic when it comes to seating areas. So you know, we arrived late in the evening, so it was a little bit difficult to to rest and sit down. So yeah, maybe that can be changed. But but otherwise, super beautiful. Uh, we're currently at the bus area, bus station. There are some food spots here. Not so much healthy food options, but uh, I think I can, I can make it to Manila. So, fresh. so our luggage is safely stored. Mia was helping us out. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. It's as frosty as Welcome I remember it. Welcome to the freezer. <laughs> Welcome to the freezer. Welcome to the North Pole. <laughs> so fresh. We have a big TV here. I can even see it from the back all the way. <laughs> it just told me it's a thing here to interview people about heartbreak and uh, life stuff. So, ah, yeah. Very telenovela style. Very Marites vibe. Marites. <laughs> so, the bus company name is Genesis. We're leaving straight from Terminal 3. I think yeah, you might want we to, to consider those things. Because it's hard to do. Yeah, try no more. Yeah. Okay, so we're going back. to Naya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, piece of advice. Um, if you're taking the bus, definitely bring some noise cancelling headphones because if this is going on for two or three hours, I will not be able to sleep. And uh, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a lot to... Like, it's always like giggling and it's loud and it's, uh, yeah, it's very chatty. Very chatty. And then also bring jacket or sarong. I yeah. was wearing long sleeves but... Wrong move. Oh, wrong move. Yeah, so I brought one. Luckily, it's not that cold yet, but maybe that will change. But I definitely brought one with me because it will get frosty. We were freezing. Okay, just got my ticket. Very, very old school. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so specific with kilometers and everything. Kilometers. This is how we track calories after a workout. Like how many calories you burn. <laughs> <laughs> tired but it's okay it was comfy yeah we had uh, more leg run than in Cebu Pacific so <laughs> all good wow I'm all sleepy uh, I was able to take a nap I can definitely recommend bringing a neck pillow when you 
take the bus. 100% worth it. Otherwise, two and a half hours. Wasn't that bad. No traffic. I was surprised. And it wasn't that cold, right? Yeah, actually, you can just like do that to shut it off. That yeah. thing up there. I just realized. Because my legs are, I can't feel it. It's too cold. Yeah, but I, I, I shut it off when we drove to Clark and it was still cold. It's so cold. Yeah. By the way, shout out to the Travel Club because I got my luggage there from the World Traveler and it stands out. I can always find it. We almost forgot our luggage in the bus because we were just so sleepy. But yeah, we saved around 12,000 pesos just driving to Clark, which made it worth it for me, right? It was good. It, it was worth it. Driving yeah. To Clark, yeah. Also, huge shout out to Sunlight Air. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Um, comfortable traveling and also not too cold. <laughs> I feel like I always have to mention that and uh, no delays. Yes, right? actually. Yeah, because usually there are I a lot mean, of. I I like the airline just because you have more options and you have kind of like an alternative, not as expensive as other airlines. Exactly. Okay, I just realized that you know we came from Shargao, right? So I bought Mantikoko, and I was sharing with Nelly that the good thing about this airline that we were talking about, which is Sunlight Air, not sponsored, not sponsored, but why not in the future? <laughs> Follow us. I'm kidding. Um, so yeah, uh, they have uh, free banana chips and coffee or iced tea. So when I, when they serve me coffee. I was thinking, oh my god, can I get my party coco up, up in the bin? <laughs> By the way, this is the schedule for the bus. So it goes very regularly. And it's at Terminal 3, right across from Bay 14. In case you're looking for it in future. If you take that ride, yeah. VIP pickup service by Cat's <laughs> Dad. There <laughs> go now. Is it better than before? Oh, it's great. It's really. I mean, it was always good. Yeah. Right. I feel like you have more options now, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And the island has fully recovered as well. Mm -hmm. So. The trees have already grown up. Yeah, the trees are back. <laughs> A lot of the houses are rebuilt. So it's really, really nice. It's really good to see the island in a healed state. Yeah, like yeah. us. Whoa! Woo! Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a sign, cat. Yeah. We have finally made it to VGC. You! Just after nine hours. I just say to Kat and her dad how it's funny when you talk about being based in Manila and how close everything is. You can just travel to other islands within two hours. But the reality is our travel day today was nine hours. Yeah. Could have gone to Europe. Yeah. Could have been in Dubai by this at this point. Could have been eating yeah. other types of food, but yeah, but we not complaining. not complaining. We're not complaining. We had a phenomenal time in Chagall. Unfortunately, we hit rush hour, so yeah, traffic was a little bit bad coming from the airport. But we are back in the city. What a contrast! We are hungry, so food it is. Hello. Hey. Alrighty, if you made it this far, you must either be a hardcore fan or you really enjoyed my content. So thank you so, so much for it. And if you want to show me a token of appreciation, this is how you can support my channel. Do all of the things that are shown here. <laughs> and also feel free to share my channel, Nelly's Life or What's Up Philippines to somebody who you think would enjoy my content too. Follow me on my socials, which you can see here, Nelly's Life, where I share more insights. We can get live updates, not delayed content, and also content that I only post there. So definitely give me a follow. All of the links are in the description box down below in every single video. Thank you so much for your love and support so far. I really appreciate you so, so much. Mwah. to spinning and there's music singing in the street